Fera e Horta. Might as well let him just finish it off. There's eight of those. more houses. Thirty food to get this where we want it. Society. this chapter off hopefully okay produce 15 horsemen completed that took a while more than I'd like to the town now had a rapid light cavalry skilled at harassing slower targets such as archers hey Oridas Hellsborough each year, you sadly are thought. Slay it or hard. Are you lost? I'm just around it, so hopefully that means. Cavalry eliminated the enemy archers and moved on to destroying the archery range itself. Objective completed. The invaders' archers and their camp were destroyed. A final enemy emplacement remained, one fortified with palisades and defended by spearmen. You did it all for! 
To deal with this target, the town would need longbowmen. First, they needed to build archery ranges in the area regained from the invaders. Happy Once villagers. More, friendly villagers arrive to help. Each timber fails. Solo, what a minute. We're gonna get three more villagers back here to um, start making our own. What sort of face, eh? Yes, sir. We're still hard enough. We're making our own wood. Yaru to work. Pachende would do. We're gonna go ahead and bring you guys down here to um, heal up. Okay, this is going a little fat slower. Now we're kind of toward the end of the tutorial. But we're getting there, we're getting there. Uh, let's go ahead and build one right next to that one. Easy. Nice. Done. Oh, God dang it. Has to be inside that rally point. Freaking heck, man. Really? With several archery ranges in place, the town could add longbowmen to its forces. Twenty, okay.
stay on it. Uh, we have seven, we need ten. Twenty. And we're basically just waiting on the wood. Okay, we're at 94 wood, that means we've got three more. We need plenty more than that. This is definitely very annoying. Let's see how much we can get from this. Seven? I think I counted seven there. Seventeen of twenty. We need two, one more after we get this one. Just need one more, one more batch of ten wood, please. Straight Thank you. Board, Wonderful. Yard. Wonderful. We are nearly done with this thing. For this twenty longbowmen. Done. Enemy a strong force camp of revealed. archers could eliminate enemy spearmen at a distance, so long as they took the proper position. Booga Strail Boren. Paragongat on way. Strail Boren. No, no, put him right there. Put him right there. There they are. I didn't know where they were. I just walked up a bunch of rocks. Legends. <laughs> Poised on a cliff top, the longbowmen would be protected from an infantry charge. We're Sindon Sekende. Fully in the Hesum. Strelboren of Gangrel. 
Most of the invaders fell to the resurgent homegrown population. Now that their lands were free of enemies, the town could take the next step in its growth and become a powerful medieval city. Advance of the Castle Age. Here too, the erection of a great landmark would be the signpost of this growth. All right, let's do it. That needed a lot of twelve hundred food and six hundred gold. Needed a lot. Okay. Y'all are almost done. We're about to be in level three. Page three, I mean. where a few lowly refugees had founded a small village, now rose a mighty city. From there would grow an empire. Victory! And that is the beginning of Age of Empires 4. I'm going to skip to the main menu in next episode. Well, this is episode 3 probably, um, by the time you're seeing this. On episode 3, we're going to be doing the single player campaign. So that's what I'm all about here. So yeah, that's going to do it. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, turn on notifications. And I'll see you next time.